everyone welcome back to the next video this is a special edition today not only because it is our 50th uh, container ship vlog this is number 50 so thank you to everyone who's been there watching all the vlogs I appreciate all of you guys but today we're in Egypt heading south through the Suez Canal en route to the Red Sea it's a beautiful day it's a hot day but coming up really soon on our port side is the Ever Given, the ship that was stuck in the canal. Everybody heard about that on the news. So I'm going to show you that in just a little bit. Got a little more distance to go before we get there. But we're going to be going through the canal all day today. Okay guys, so I'm sure all of you know what the Suez Canal is and where it's located over here in Egypt. And what it does is connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea. It's a direct path which uh, makes it possible a lot shorter trade routes from Southeast Asia, Asia in general, and Europe. But it's also used for ships all around the world. And the benefit is you don't have to sail all the way around Africa, the southern point of Africa, the Cape of Good Hope. So it saves a lot of nautical miles of travel. So it's very valuable for world trade. So actually the first time that the idea of the Suez Canal came was uh, the former French consular uh, in Cairo, Egypt. They had an agreement with the governor, the uh, Ottoman governor in Egypt at the time, to make the canal. So they had an agreement, and five years later, which was 1859. Yeah, it's been around that long, guys. Uh, that's when the construction started, and the construction was done 10 years later. So it took 10 years to make the initial version of the canal, which is definitely smaller. Uh, it wasn't as deep as it is now. Obviously, the ships of today need to be accommodated, the much larger ships of today. Uh, obviously, you need a larger and to have a bigger draft, so it needs to be deeper. But that's how long it took to build the original version, 10 years. But uh, 13 years after it was uh, finished, uh, after it was open, actually, uh, which was 1882, until 1956, it was under control of the British. But currently, it's under control of the Egyptians, the Suez Canal Authority and it generates a lot of revenue annually for the government. Last year, I believe it was about $5.6 billion revenue for the Egyptian government. Okay, so a lot of people ask how long is the Suez Canal? It's 193 kilometers long from start to finish, which is 120 US miles. And from the start of it, the north end, it starts at Port Said, which is where we spent the day yesterday, and all the way down south to Suez, and then you go to the Red Sea, and it's about an hour and a half drive from Port Said, the northernmost point. Uh, that's how you get to the Giza Plateau, you know, the Great Pyramids that everybody's seen in documentaries, the ones you guys have all seen. It's about an hour and a half drive from there, the northern end of the uh, Suez Canal. All right, guys, so as we continue our journey south here, I'll just let you look at the beautiful view. It's a really hot, sunny day here in Egypt. You see a lot of ships just out there. I guess they're on anchor. And we're in the convoy. I think about 40 to 50 ships go through here on average per day. But I heard a few years back, they had like a day where 81 went through, so it varies. And up here on the left, I don't know if you can see it yet, on our port side is the Ever Given. We'll take a closer look at that real soon. Okay, now we're taking a look aft here. I'm on the port side bridge wing. And right here, there's our smokestack. And we're looking aft. Uh, the ship directly behind us in the convoy is a car carrier. Looks like another container ship uh, after them. So yeah, the cost that it costs to go through here, I'm not 100% sure because it varies based on TU, size of the ship, a lot of different factors. I think maybe six hundred to $700,000. But that's just a rough... It's hard to say. It depends on a lot of things. Okay, here's a ship called the Soho Square. Looks to be a tanker. And they are heading northbound. So we're in a wide place of the canal here. That's where the Ever Given is. Um, obviously where we came from only accommodates one vessel going whichever direction. But where we're almost at now is a wider portion of the canal, so that's where the Ever Given is sitting. Okay, here is a vessel, guys. I can't see the name. But it appears to be carrying the blades for the wind generators. You see a lot of those in Europe, and it looks like it's carrying the blades. 
really, really, really large size blades. Pretty fascinating. And we're getting really close to the Ever Given now. So just a moment, we're gonna be making our turn to the port here. And we're very close now to the Ever Given. There she is right there. All right, so here's the Ever Given. And she is sitting here, fully loaded, full of containers, 400 meters long. I believe Evergreen is a Taiwanese company. Alright guys, so now we're on the stern of the ship, looking aft, a little lower vantage point here. Still see the car carrier behind us. Okay guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video, another video number 50. Thank you guys for watching this video and especially this uh, special 50th video and hopefully we'll have another 50 more coming. So we're all done with the Suez Canal. We are at the south end of that in what is called the Gulf of Suez. And as we continue south through that, we will enter the Red Sea next. So thank you for watching this video as always, guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up just to let us know you liked it. And as I always say, I uh, will see you on the next video real soon.